Jean-Paul Vignon, the enchanting French vocalist and actor, passed away at the age of 89 due to liver cancer in Beverly Hills, leaving behind a legacy that spanned over eight decades. Vignon had graced the stages of the world with his romantic ballads and captivating performances, both in film and on prominent American television shows. His career took off in the U.S. in 1963 at the Blue Angel in New York, leading to numerous appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show and collaborations with stars like Liza Minnelli and Woody Allen. Vignon's unique ability to blend contemporary pop with American standards, alongside his work in films such as The Devil's Brigade and his voice role in Shrek, showcased his versatile talent and passion for the arts. Beyond his artistic achievements, Vignon was remembered by his peers for being the glue that held the band together, a testament to his influence and the void his passing leaves in the music and film industries. His life's work continues to inspire artists and entertain audiences, ensuring that his legacy will endure. Tributes to Jean-Paul Vignon. Number 12. Christopher Durang, an influential figure in American theater, passed away at 75 due to complications from logopenic primary progressive aphasia. Durang's career was highlighted by his mastery of satire and black comedy, earning him a Tony Award for Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike, and making him a Pulitzer Prize finalist with Miss Witherspoon. His works, known for their blend of absurdism and sharp wit, included titles like Sister Mary Ignatius Explains It All For You, and the marriage of Bette and Boo. Durang's plays not only entertained but also offered profound insights into the human condition, often through laughter and reflection. He was celebrated for his ability to turn despair into comedy, bringing both joy and contemplation to audiences. His loss is deeply felt across the theater community, but his legacy lives on through the many plays and performances he leaves behind. Tributes to Christopher Durang. Number 11. David E. Deano, a highly respected camera operator known for his extensive work in the film industry, passed away at 71 due to coronary issues after battling prostate cancer. Throughout his career, Diano left an everlasting mark on cinema, working on notable films such as Tombstone, The Fast and the Furious, Wedding Crashers, and Spider-Man 3. He served as the president of the Society of Camera Operators from 2003 to 2004 where he was remembered for his artistry, kindness, and unforgettable smile. Diano's collaboration with renowned cinematographer William Fraker on 17 movies is a testament to his skill and dedication to the craft of filmmaking. His legacy extends beyond the big screen, touching the lives of many with whom he worked closely. In addition to his professional achievements, Diano is survived by his wife, Gemma Lamana, and their two sons, David and Sean, who together mourn the loss of a beloved husband, father, and friend, Tributes to David E. Diano. Number 10. Jade Lee Hunt, a beloved former Miss West Lothian, tragically passed away suddenly at the tender age of 35. Known for her radiant spirit and enduring courage, Jade's loss has left her family and friends deeply heartbroken. Beyond her beauty pageant successes, including the prestigious title of Miss Galaxy Scotland, Jade was cherished for her vibrant personality and unwavering positivity. In her post-pageant life, she ventured into entrepreneurship with her own teeth-whitening company and dedicated herself to supporting adults with disabilities, showcasing her compassionate and caring nature. A Just Giving page has been established in her memory allowing those touched by Jade's remarkable life to share their stories and contribute towards her funeral expenses. Tributes have poured in, painting a picture of a woman whose infectious laugh, sense of adventure and profound kindness left an everlasting mark on all who knew her. Jade's legacy is a testament to the impact one individual can have on the lives of many, embodying a spirit of love, laughter and resilience that will be sorely missed but never forgotten. Tributes to Jade Lee Hunt,
Number 9. Mike Colon, fondly known as Captain Crunch for his formidable tackling as a linebacker for the Miami Dolphins, passed away at the age of 76 on April 3, 2024. Colon, a crucial part of the Dolphins' early 1970s glory, played in all three Super Bowls and was instrumental in their perfect 17-0 season in 1972. His legacy extends beyond the field, touching hearts at Auburn University with the Mike Colon Award, honoring the leading tackler each season a testament to his enduring influence. Colon's remarkable career included a memorable moment in the sea of hands play, a testament to the intense competition of the game he loved. Despite his later years battling Alzheimer's, which he attributed to his football career, Colin expressed no regrets, cherishing the life lessons and opportunities the sport provided. Inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in 1985, his contribution to football, both on a collegiate level and in the NFL, leaves a legacy of tenacity, sportsmanship, and resilience. Tributes to Mike Colin. Number 8. Thomas Farr, a pivotal conservative legal strategist in North Carolina politics, passed away at 69 due to heart complications after a battle with prostate cancer. Farr's legal expertise was instrumental from the 1984 campaign for U.S. and Jesse Helms to defending Republican policies, significantly influencing the state's political landscape. Known for his work on laws and redistricting efforts, Farr's career was marked by both acclaim and criticism. His attempts to secure a federal judgeship, nominated by Presidents George W. Bush and Donald Trump, were notable, though ultimately unsuccessful, partly due to over his work's racial implications. Despite the setbacks, Farr's legacy in shaping North Carolina's legal and political frameworks remains undeniable. His loss is deeply felt among colleagues and supporters, who remember him as a dedicated advocate for their cause. Tributes to Thomas Farr. Number 7. John Barth, a giant of American literature known for his complex, darkly comic postmodern novels, passed away at 93 from complications of logopenic primary progressive aphasia. As a revered author and emeritus professor at Johns Hopkins University, Barth left an everlasting mark on the world of fiction with works like Giles Goat Boy and The Sot Weed Factor. His innovative storytelling, which often reflected on the act of writing itself, positioned him alongside contemporaries like William Gass in challenging literary conventions, his career was a testament to the power of narrative experimentation, weaving intricate plots with a rich tapestry of themes ranging from historical parodies to metaphysical inquiries. His masterpiece, Giles Goat Boy, turned a college campus into a symbolic battleground of the Cold War, showcasing his unique ability to blend satire with serious literary inquiry. He was also known for his essays on fiction, notably The Literature of Exhaustion, where he argued for the necessity of new narrative forms and The Literature of Replenishment, which called for a renewal of storytelling techniques. These works not only highlighted his theoretical prowess, but also his belief in the endless possibilities of literature. Tributes to John Barth Number 6. Gail Sparrow, a pivotal figure in MTV's early success as the lead of the talent and artist relations team, passed away at 74 after a fight with lung cancer. Joining the MTV startup team in 1981, Sparrow was at the forefront of a music revolution, elevating the music video to an art form and reshaping how music was shared and enjoyed. Her work helped launch and relaunch the careers of countless artists, including contributing to Tina Turner's comeback. Tributes from industry icons like Bob Pittman and Lee Garland highlight her integral role and the personal impact she had on those around her. Sparrow's legacy is not just in the music video revolution she helped spearhead, but in the personal connections and memories cherished by those who worked with her. Tributes to Gail Sparrow.
Number 5. Stefano Cerchi, a dedicated and talented jockey, tragically passed away at the age of 23, two weeks after suffering a severe fall during a race at Canberra. Cerchi, originally from Sardinia and a beacon of potential in the racing world, had made a significant impact in Britain before moving to Australia. His fall on March 20th left him with critical injuries, prompting an outpouring of support and prayers from the global racing community. As an apprentice to Newmarket trainer Marco Boddy, Churchy celebrated over 100 victories, a testament to his skill and dedication to the sport. Remembered for his humility, kindness, and infectious smile, Churchy's passing has deeply affected his family, loved ones, and colleagues, including his girlfriend Brittany and the broader racing community. Tributes have flowed in, highlighting his character and contribution to the sport, with notable figures like Holly Doyle expressing their sorrow and admiration. The loss of Stefano Cerchi is felt profoundly across the racing world, marking a somber moment that underscores the inherent risks of this demanding sport. Tributes to Stefano Cerchi. Number 4. Jim Hobson, former president and CEO of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, passed away at 73 after a battle with stage 4 colon cancer. A stalwart in Canadian football, Hobson's leadership was instrumental in propelling the Rough Riders to Grey Cup victories in 2007 and 2013, marking a period of unmatched success for the team. Beginning his football career in high school and continuing as a professional offensive lineman for the Rough Riders, he played alongside legends before retiring in 1976 to pursue a career in education. With degrees from the University of Regina and the University of Oregon, Hobson was a respected educator and a pillar in the Saskatchewan community. His legacy in Canadian sports, characterized by his commitment to excellence and community, leaves an everlasting mark on the Rough Riders in Canadian football. Tributes to Jim Hobson. Number 3. Notker Wolf, a German Benedictine monk, priest, musician, and author, passed away at 83 on April 3, 2024, from complications related to liver cancer. A distinguished member of St. Ottilian Archabbey and a former abbot primate of the Benedictine Confederation, Wolf significantly influenced both the monastic community and wider society. Born in Bad Grunenbach, Germany, he dedicated his life to the service of the church, education, and music, merging traditional religious practices with modern expressions. Under his guidance, the Benedictine Confederation thrived, reflecting his commitment to inter-religious dialogue, environmental stewardship, and social issues. His musical talents, particularly in Gregorian chant and as a member of the rock band Feedback, showcased his unique blend of faith and contemporary culture. Wolf's legacy extends through his numerous publications, teachings, and the global impact of his humanitarian work leaving a lasting impression on those he served and worked with. Tributes to Notker Wolf. Number 2. Veliko Bulajic, the Montenegrin film director and UNESCO Kalinga Prize recipient, passed away at 96 on April 3, 2024. Known for directing the top four most viewed Yugoslav films, including the epic Battle of Neretva, Bulajic's work reached over 500 million viewers globally. His films, often themed around World War II and the partisan film genre, contributed significantly to the cultural landscape, meriting descriptions of him as a creator of made-to-order epic blockbusters. Bulajic's life was as dramatic as his films. He joined the Yugoslav partisans at 15 and survived a fascist concentration camp. His post-war life led him to study under cinema legends in Italy before returning to Yugoslavia, where he carved out a significant career in film. His works earned him global recognition, including nominations at major film festivals and an Academy Award nomination. Bulajic also actively participated in humanitarian efforts, demonstrating his commitment beyond the cinematic world. Tributes to Veljko Bulajic.
Today's top headlines. News 1. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is on the path to recovery following successful surgery for a blood clot in her leg, diagnosed with May Thurner syndrome. Admitted to UC Health Medical Center of the Rockies, Boebert experienced significant swelling, leading to the urgent medical intervention. Doctors perform the surgery, inserting a stent to ensure her full recovery, with no long-term health concerns anticipated. Bobert expressed her gratitude towards the medical team for their exceptional care and is eager to return to her congressional duties. May Thurner syndrome, affecting mostly women aged 20 to 50, poses serious risks if left untreated. Bobert's swift treatment highlights the importance of prompt medical attention for such conditions. News 2. Michael J. Fox, beloved Teen Wolf and Back to the Future star, offers an uplifting glimpse into his life with Parkinson's disease, emphasizing days of both struggle and strength. At 62, Fox's resilience shines, particularly during the BAFTAs 2024, where he received a standing ovation, a moment he finds both surprising and humbling. Fox, diagnosed in 1991, remains a symbol of hope, leveraging his platform to advance Parkinson's research and support. His recent charity musical festival underscores his commitment to making a difference. With unwavering optimism, Fox focuses on the community's collective power to seek solutions, reinforcing his enduring spirit in the face of adversity. News 3. Christina Applegate, the acclaimed Dead to Me actress, is courageously facing a significant setback in her battle with multiple sclerosis, MS, revealing the debilitating impact of the disease on her daily life. At 52, Applegate has encountered an intense relapse marked by agonizing leg pain and severe mobility issues, confining her to a point where basic tasks like showering have become insurmountable challenges. Despite a moment of levity at the Emmys earlier in 2024, Applegate's current condition underscores the unpredictable and harrowing journey of living with MS. Her candid revelation on the messy podcast with Jamie Lynn Siegler, also an MS fighter, sheds light on the stark realities of the disease, igniting conversations about its seriousness and the importance of support and understanding for those affected. News 4. A year following a concerning health scare that left fans anxious, Jamie Foxx is back, stronger and busier than ever. The acclaimed actor, singer, and comedian, known for his versatility in the entertainment industry, has made a remarkable recovery and is diving headfirst into a plethora of projects. Currently, Fox is filming new episodes for the hit Fox game show, Beat Shazam, displaying no remnants of his past medical issues. According to insiders, Fox is doing incredibly well and has returned to his dynamic self, fully immersed in his work and personal passions. While the specifics of his health scare remain shrouded in mystery, Fox hints at revealing the details in an upcoming comedy special. Fans eagerly await this reveal, supporting Fox as he continues to entertain and inspire. Number 1. Juan Vicente Pérez Mora, the Venezuelan who held the title of the world's oldest man, passed away at the impressive age of 114 on April 2, 2024. Recognized by Guinness World Records in 2022, his life spanned over a century of history, witnessing remarkable global events. Pérez, affectionately known as Tío Vicente, was a devoted father of 11, leaving behind a legacy through his 41 grandchildren, 18 great-grandchildren, and 12 great-great-grandchildren. Born in El Cobre, Tachira, on May 27, 1909, his early life was rooted in agriculture, contributing to his family's sugarcane and coffee harvest from a young age. Beyond farming, Perez also served as a sheriff, mediating land and family disputes in his community. His life story, celebrated by Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro and cherished by his vast family, serves as a testament to resilience, dedication, and the profound impact one individual can have across generations. Tributes to Juan Vicente Perez Mora.